Yo, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I don't even know where that came from, but but video, I don't know what that is. But anyway, let's move on. Today, we are talking about grid legends. Now, my first love is sim racing and I racing and on the Quest 2 on the Rift S in VR. Like, there, there's nothing that compares to that. It's just such an amazing experience. But getting a game on the Quest 2 natively that's like a really good racing game, really excited me. And I, and, I, and I had to hop on it as soon as it came out. I was really excited. I did a couple of videos on it already, but I feel like I feel like I needed to do one more video. And because in this one, you know, we're gonna actually show you what, what VR should look like on the Quest 2. You know, because I got a lot of things saying, well, you're a sim racer and you do iRacing and Grid Legends on the Quest 2 is not made for people like you. But I wanna correct you on that. It is totally made for anyone that owns a Quest 2. And if they're into sim racing, it means they're into racing games. So sometimes, you know, we don't wanna go like full sim. We don't wanna have to go on our computer, you know, sit sit in a separate room wherever you have your setup. Sometimes it's just cool to hop on, you know, pop on your headset on your Quest 2, just lay down on the couch or in another room or just chill with your family somewhere else where your sim setup is and, and just like enjoy a racing game. Like that, that that's the whole point of the Quest 2, to enjoy a game freely from your computer and anywhere you want to be and enjoy it so grid legends you know was, was filling this little this little spot on the quest 2 that that we haven't really had anything for so it was really exciting for for a sim races like myself now granted i'm not a good sim racer but that's besides the point but but for people like that like it, it was exciting for, for someone like me who does enjoy sim racing but i also want a nice native game on my quest 2 because that that would be super awesome so Grid Legends, as we know, and has been discussed, and if you've watched any videos on it or have played it, you know the graphics are atrocious. They are terrible. But I've been playing the game, you know, a lot more since I got it. And, and you know, your first reaction when you put it on is, wow, I'm going to get a refund within five minutes. Like, you don't even want to give the game a chance. But, but trust me, guys, you might want to give the game a chance, even past those horrible, horrendous graphics. Um, there's a fun game to be had. There's a lot. There's a lot in this game. There's a lot of fun racing. The car handling is is actually really good. Um, there's no motion controls, and we're going to talk about this a little bit a little bit later in the video as as we go into a different game that I'm going to show you. That 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 is what 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 Grid Legends you know should look like, but doesn't. But we'll talk about motion controls and and you know one thing in Grid Legends is the graphics are really are really bad, right? We we established that. But what I want to know is why do they have so many things going on in this game? But they took nothing out of the game that they have in the non-VR version. Like you have so you have all these people on the sides, you have all this action going on outside the track, you have like these flags that are like actually moving in the wind. I even think on one of the tracks, like the Ferris wheel was even moving. Like why? Why? We don't need this in VR. All this stuff can be removed. Stop, 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 stop adding motion to things that don't affect the actual race. Remove all that stuff. Remove all the people. Remove all, you know, there's so many buildings in on these street races. You know, remove them. Remove most of those buildings or just, just make those buildings really really simple graphically because right now the, the the buildings look better than the actual cars and the racing so and it's not just bad graphics right let's let's first establish it's not just bad graphics where it's like oh these are real simple graphics it's 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 the it's how pixelated they are how blurry it is how shimmering that you get on all the tracks the distance stuff in the distance is just hard to look at so it does make the experience a lot less better than it should be but we are actually going to look at a game right now that is tiny, tiny, tiny. So Grid Legends is like 30 gigs or something like that. This game I'm going to show you right now is only about 350 megabytes to download. It was recommended to me from shout out to Ricky who said this game needs to be looked at and this is what Grid Legends should look like. And, you know, I downloaded the game. I gave it a run. As soon as it, as soon as it actually hit my screen... I was like, wow, simple graphics, nothing crazy. We have lots of cars, lots of other stuff we're going to talk about when we actually get into that game because we're going to actually play a little bit of that game to compare. And yes, very simple graphics. I'm not looking for eye racing, you know, graphics that I'm getting on my RTX 3080 desktop PC. That's not what I'm looking for. This game, this little game right here that is 350 megabytes is exactly what I want Grid Legends to look like. If Grid Legends looked like this other game I'm gonna show you, then we we 
it'll be game it would be game over it would be completely game over like like this is like the the nail in the coffin this is the racing game the best quest to probably would probably be one of the best quest two games even made if they can make it look like this other game. Now, I'm not sponsored by Grid Legends. I'm not sponsored by this other game. Although, if anybody wants to sponsor me, um, I'm right over here. But, you know, no one wants to sponsor such a small channel. So, guys, maybe if you subscribe and click the like button and I can get, you know, become like a big, big racing channel, maybe I can get some, you know, maybe I can get some sponsors for this channel. And, um, you know, anyway, that's a whole that's a whole other thing. Anyway, guys, so we're going to hop into this other game. But, I, I, you know, but just, just also know that the screen sharing that you're seeing from Grid Legends gameplay right now, you know, might look good but that is not what it looks like in the headset so anyone who's played the game knows the game does not look this good in the headset um the screen sharing definitely makes it look better so don't don't compare by screen share just go by what we are telling you um the game looks atrocious and that that's just a fact that there's no way there's no way around it but the game itself is a good game there's really good racing i've had a lot of fun racing in the game um and and the control of the cars with with the joystick um, and we'll, we'll, let's, let's talk about that a little bit more. Let's hop into the other game right now. All right, guys, here we go. The game is V Speedway. As soon as you put this game on, and remember, this is 350 megabytes compared to 31 gigs. As soon as you put this on, the clarity of this game is insane. Everything is super clear. There, there, there's no blurriness. We have buildings all around. And it looks super, super clear. We have, you know, a nice amount of cars oh, racing with us here. We have working mirrors, right? We have mirrors on both sides and in the middle. So we have working mirrors. And if you notice, we do have motion control. And we're gonna, we're gonna, whoa. We're gonna talk a little more about motion control in a second. But just what I'm telling you is if you can download this game and just just take a look at the difference in clarity and and the sharpness and and you know when people tell me what do you expect you know it's a quest 2 on a on a mobile on a mobile gpu this this is what i expected this is what i expected from a from a triple a game maker that's making grid legends Th this is this is what i was expecting i was expecting a game to look at least as good as, as, as this game right here you know the graphics are you know they're, they're not they're not like PC VR graphics they're, they're simple graphics they're, there's not extreme amount of detail which is fine which is what you need in a in a in a VR headset running on on a, like a basically a mobile basically a mobile GPU this is what you need you need to simplify things but this game looks amazing like it looks amazing if, if Grid Legends looked as good as this game, it, like, it, seriously, it would be the greatest Quest Quest 2 game, like, made to date. Oh, don't spit me out, dude. Working mirrors, like, that's insane. The game has working mirrors in VR. Working mirrors in VR. I, like, I don't know how they, how they have this working and actually running smooth, but it's working. Now, let's talk about motion control, right? We have motion control. Which is awesome. Which people are upset that we don't, that we don't have, in Grid Legends. And you know, when I first played Grid Legends, I thought it was the biggest disappointment not to have motion control. But holding your hands like this and racing, um, as long as you might want to race in Grid Legends, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Do, do you really want to hold your hands in the air for an hour? This this is going to get extremely uncomfortable. I'm, you know, for a short little like 10 minutes, maybe it's okay, but it, it is definitely going to get uncomfortable for long, for long gaming sessions. As we're moving up, we're moving places here. So, so that's a game from like an indie developer, right? That that's making this, this game racing game with motion controls, with working mirrors, and it just looks great. It looks what I was expecting from the quest too. Now, the game doesn't have the option for joystick driving, which, you know, is weird because we play Grid Legends and I'm like, I want the option for motion controls. Well, in the same sense, I'd like the option in this game for, for joystick control because after a while, I'm just going to want to like put my arms down and just chill with, with the controller. You know, sometimes you want to lay back on your couch, lay up, face up or something like that. So, so you don't want to always like steer with your hands and, and things like that. So I actually think having both options is a good thing. I actually think 
I probably use the joystick more over motion control if it was like pick one or the other. So I think I'm kind of happy that we got the joystick control in Grid Legends because if they just gave us motion control only, I don't know if you'd be able to sit for a long time holding your hands in the air, trying to hold a wheel that's not really there. So you have nothing to really grasp onto and, and, and you know, like hold your, hold your arms up to, to support that for like an hour. It, it's going to get tiring. But anyway... You know, hopefully we get some updates in Grid Legends. Guys, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you actually try this game. And then leave me your opinion below, you know, your initial thoughts compared to Grid Legends, like the graphics. Like, we need graphics like this, and Grid Legends would be like, it would be legendary. That's what I'm saying, guys. So definitely leave me a comment. I read them all. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it if you thumb up the video. And if you also like to see me do some more Grid Legend videos of just some races and things like that, you know, let me know. I, I'd be happy to do some more, some more videos on the game. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.